So the spline IK is very similar to the other IK that we've shown, although you need a spline object for it to work. So in this scene, I just have the armature, which is just a chain of bones, which goes from, from here all the way to here. And I also have a target curve. So if I jump into edit mode, you can see I've got a couple of um, points there. Hopefully you can see. Um, I'll just turn off the names of these bones. And then you can see these, uh, these points here. I've just got the, the curve. So we're going to add this one the long way, actually. So when we add the spline IK, we want to add it to the last bone in the chain. So I'm just going to go here and then choose the spline IK. Whoops, spline IK, there it is. And then we're going to target this curve object. So bang. And now you'll notice something really, really weird is happening. One bone is stretching all the way along there. And that is because of our chain length. We can actually increase the, the amount of chains until, until it matches the, the same number as the length of the bones and there's 10 bones here because I can see I've got bones 10 and if this doesn't show up for you make sure that you right click in here and then you can show the scene statistics we have uh, now enabled this I'm going to jump back into object mode so I'm no longer working with the armature and I want to grab the curve object here and when I go into edit mode and grab these points now this chain is actually smoothing along this curve that's pretty pretty handy so that is a spline IK. Let's have a look at a few more settings. So back into pose mode. So the even divisions, so when you enable even divisions, it's going to ignore the relative length of each one of these bones and act like they're all the same uh, length. Although in this example, this is a bad example because they were already the same length. So this isn't going to have any effect at all. All right, so with the chain offset, if we read the tool tip here, it says offset the entire chain relative to the root joint. So the root joint is this one here. Now I don't have that setting enabled. And if I try and grab and move this around, you notice my, my translations are moving, but the whole chain isn't. But if I go back to here and I enable that, you can actually now see I can move that chain away from, uh, from its default position. So that's what that chain offset does. Now let's have a look at this scaling. So use the curve radius. This would be if we jump into the um, curve radius of each one of these points, you can see we've got a radius here. We can Scale that up and hopefully, does that do anything? Oh, no, no, because I didn't have it enabled. So there we go. So you can see it's going to scale those um, bones, make them fatter along that um, point where the, the radius was bigger. So we can enable or disable that one. And here is our Y scaling. So what we can do is we can say that there's none. So these bones won't stretch to the end. If we enable fit curve, it's gonna stretch them all so it reaches the end. And if you go bone original, so that means if we scale our root bone here, you'll notice that all the bones scale. And that's because they're inheriting the scale from their relative parents all the way along that chain. So that's what, that, um, what those options do. And now the XZ scaling is the volume preservation. So at the moment it's set to none. So the X and the Y won't, um, won't shrink when it stretches. We have the bone original. So that means it's just gonna use the original X and Z uh, scaling from here and now remember these are all parented in a hierarchy so the ones further down the chain are going to inherit that, that scale let me just undo that so the inverse scale is going to use the inverse of the y scale so for example if the y scale is 2 then the x and the z scale will be 1 over 2 and the volume preservation you have a few more options here where it's going to do um, preserve that volume to fit along the curve. So if it's stretching, it's going to shrink those other sides based on our volume preservation here. And this works the same as how I've explained in the volume preservation constraint. So that is the spline IK.